Now that we can see ourselves moving on from the last year, let's talk about which of the whirlwind of changes will be permanent and what that means for your health plan. And there's a lot of positive here, so don't just skip over this one. My name is Allison DePauli, founder of Altique Consulting. We help employers like you take control of your healthcare spend and get budgeting predictability. Happy side effects of that are better access to higher quality care and lower out-of-pocket costs for your employees. For the best advice about how to uh, shrink your budget, make it predictable and controllable, click that subscribe button down here and you'll be notified when we upload new videos for YouTube. Tipalti has this great white paper about the four major shifts that will be permanent. We'll link to the article below. And this is how they apply to your health plan. So number one, new ways of working. Are people coming back to the office? Are they working from home? A hybrid model? Personally, I miss being with the humans, but not everybody feels the same. New operational challenges. How long will we need masks? Can we require vaccinations? How long will we need to socially distance ourselves? New fraud and compliance risks. While not my domain, I suspect huge changes in workers' comp claims. And there are some interesting solutions to that, by the way. Let me know if you want to hear more about that. Health plan compliance has changed more in the last three months of 2020 than in the last 10 years. It is alarming to me that no one is talking about it. So we're going to. And new economic pressures. Have, have you heard this yet? Welcome to the fifth quarter of 2020. We might be in the sixth by the time you see this. Economic pressures are changing. For some, they're easing up. For others, they're gearing up. But I don't know any business owner or leader who isn't concerned about economics of 2021 and 2022 and beyond. Since healthcare cost containment is my domain, let's talk about how we can leverage your healthcare budget without passing more of the burden on to your employees. They already have enough. So number one, modernize accounts payable. While not an exact match, do this. Modernize how claims are paid. Use claims management practices rather than inventory management. Apply stricter audit provisions, seek alternatives to copay plans. You know that health insurance companies, the plans they offer to their employees, no copays, all high deductible or deductible in copay. So think about that. Those people with the most data, no copay plans. By using vendors that actually manage claim costs, you, meaning your vendor providers, not you personally, you can use tools that pay providers quickly and fairly at a price advantageous to you. They need to manage their own cash flow, right? So maybe you have a PPO network and maybe you don't. Remember that video I did about the 595,000 claim that, that we reduced to 105 and then the employer ended up paying nothing? The claim was processed and audited in a week and paid the next, about 10 days in total. You need faster payments than you ever have before, right? Medical facilities and doctors are no different. Pay fast and work the discounts. We're gonna to link to that video below because that is a great story. So, till Patty, uh, advice number two, deploy smart cash flow controls. For health plan, smart data and payment management. Now is the time. Use big data to get ahead of your claims costs. Identify the risks, deploy strategies to mitigate them, and manage qualities. CFOs and their teams are becoming more involved than ever in healthcare budgets. Implement the tools necessary to give you actionable intelligence now. They will pay dividends in bending your cost curve down for years to come. And shh, they're pretty inexpensive. Till Patty advice number three, reduce operational risks. For health plans, dig into that data. At least know what is going on. Then apply classic risk mitigation and avoidance strategies into your plan. We talk a lot about how to do that and we'll drop some links about different strategies into the description below. It is simpler than ever, by the way. Uh, number four, optimize work from home. I'm gonna stretch this one a little bit. Telehealth and all the shiny new strategies to deliver care to people 
out of a provider's office, not just telehealth, virtual primary care, virtual workers comp, virtual physical and occupational therapy, and a host of other ancillary services. I'm an insurance nerd. These are fascinating to me, but they are effective and inexpensive to offer. Are you looking at any of these strategies? Has any of this come up on your radar? If not, why not? They can improve both your cost position and the quality of your offering. One thing that isn't changing, the need for high quality, talented, engaged employees isn't going away and will likely increase. Controlling your healthcare budget without passing the buck can give you a powerful advantage over your competitors. And I don't know about you, but I'll take any advantage I can get. So if you're interested in leveling the playing field and making your health care plan work for you and your employees, if you're willing to do one or two things a little bit differently than you do today, click the link below and let's see if we're a good fit. Yeah.